The following is a commercial, obviously from Mitt Romney, sort of a home, down home type style, homey like folks claiming they were for Obama and then they were against Obama. So I'm going to go point, counterpoint. Okay, ready? Here we go. 2008, I voted for Barack Obama. He was new. He had new ideas. I think that now we've given Obama a fair chance, and I don't think he's able to... Stop. Stop. What's that? Now that we've given Obama a fair chance? Are you blind, Connie? Are you really, truly blind? How can you call a fair chance something when I guess you don't watch the news obviously you do not watch the news because if you did watch the news you would know that every major plan that Obama has come out with to help America get back on his feet was shot down by the Republicans either by a voto veto no vote so how in the hell can you say that and stake that claim you must be one of those dumbasses that just follows everything Fox News says because obviously you got your head up your ass and you don't know what the hell you're talking about because everything Obama has tried was shot down by the damn Republicans like I say by, by veto vote or no vote and he didn't have enough people to win over so obviously you're, you're holding something against him that is definitely not warranted alright continue on what we need him to do. The president's doing a mediocre job. The Stop. Brother, where the hell you come from? The president is doing a mediocre job. Ain't you something? Obviously, you don't use those glasses to watch the damn news to see what's on television. Because if you did, you would understand this damn battle that he has to go through fighting the damn Republicans every step of the way. You need to go and educate yourself either watch the news, stop watching Fox News I'm really doubting your uh... <laughs> I don't know about them little tiny ears man that's probably the reason why you don't understand what's going on cause you can't hear what the damn doing a mediocre job my ass what you think you're supposed to do David Copperfield come in snap it a dime make everything better Bush took eight years to screw up this country and you expect him to do it in one term give me a break and without the help of Republicans what the hell's wrong with you brother if you really a brother, your Uncle Tom, if you ask me. All right, roll. But I mean, in my opinion, it's still the same as it was four years ago. Obama said that he was going to help the middle class. And that's where I am. I'm the middle class. Oh, stop. Stop. Uh, it is now quite evident to me that you really don't watch anything other than Fox News. Because Obama has done a lot of things to help the middle class. But one thing he can't do is get Republican owned businesses to hire anybody. Because if you watch the news and read newspapers, you would see and understand that there was a pact made day one when he took office. And that secret pact was do not hire anyone on this first term so we can make him look as bad as possible you don't realize that you got a sharp brain scan there okay you don't understand what has happened Republicans got a little secret pact do not hire anybody we want him to look as bad as possible when it comes time for re-election didn't you hear what Mitch, Mitch McConnell said we're gonna make sure He's going to be a one-term president. That's our main job. And you know what? That's exactly what the Republicans been doing. And for you to sit up here and make this damn commercial, either you took money from Romney to make some lying-ass commercial like this, you should be ashamed of yourself for calling yourself a damn Democrat. And I don't mean to call a Democrat damn, but you're a damn Republican trying to pass off as a damn Democrat. And if you are a Democrat, you should be damn shaming your damn self for saying what you're saying. 
All right, continue. And instead, it has hurt me. I have not received the hope and change that I believed in in 2008. Americans for Prosperity is responsible for the content of this advertising. Stop. I've seen you. American for Prosperity. Oh, yeah. You, you notice the ads? When they run, they're, they run in a series of threes against Obama. He's sure wasting a lot of money, Obama. I mean, not Obama, but uh, Mitt Romney is against Obama. It's a damn shame. I wish Obama would get some really nasty ads against him. Like Bain Capital. What exactly Bain did. Maybe some of these stupid ass teabaggers can understand exactly what the hell is going on. Because obviously they think he's such a nice guy. But you know what? When he was campaigning against some other Republicans, they did not like him one damn bit because he's a Mormon. Where's the black Mormons at? Hmm. Institution that doesn't uh, open up to all races. Gee. And you remember all that stuff the Mormons did back in the day? Some horrific criminal crime stuff? And then Warren Jesp like to have those little flings with them little young underage girls and the rest of them. His daddy ran off to damn Mexico because they got tired of his, his escapades with multiple wives when the United States decided to stop supporting the Mormon cause. And now he's going to sit up here and act like he's Mr. Goody Two-Shoes walking around like a board stuck up his ass. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pause this. Be right back, Jack.